I'm Kirsten Benjamin. I am a junior here at the University of South Florida. I'm a marine biology student. So um, there's this little corner in the library that I really like to sit in and it has like a perfect view of the water. Most of the time when I'm there, I see dolphins just like cruising around the bay. Um, but this one day I was sitting there and I looked out and I saw just like a little round thing pop up and I was like, that's not something that I normally see. So I wanted to go check it out. And when I went out there, it was uh, a little manatee. He was about like six feet in length when they got him out of the water. Um, and he was just by himself. There have been a lot of um, manatee health related issues recently and I follow FWC's Instagram. So I've been keeping up to date with all of like the manatee strandings and all of those. So I was kind of concerned when I saw it was just by himself. And I saw him, he was right over there, um, just in that little corner, just um, kind of like resting on the bottom. Uh, but he was coming up for air quite frequently, so um, I thought that was a good sign. When I called the FWC, I wanted to stay out here and just watch the manatee and make sure that it wasn't going to like leave and go somewhere else that they wouldn't be able to reach it. And so just me sitting out here, that like prompted a ton of students to come out. So the whole manatee had like a huge audience of people just watching it be rescued, which was super cool to see the campus come together like that. So they were able to rescue the manatee. They were like corralling him over here with their net. Um, and then they pulled him up over onto the beach over there and they were able to like pull him through, kind of through campus. And they pulled in the manatee rescue truck. So they were able to load him into there and then he was on his way to the Tampa Zoo. It was really amazing to be part of the process um, of rescuing the manatee, uh, to be able to experience it like firsthand from start to finish, from when I called them to when he was all loaded up in the truck. And then a couple of hours later, I got a call saying that he was all checked in at the Tampa Zoo. So it was a really like warm and fuzzy feeling that I got knowing that um, the manatee is gonna get the care that it needs.